Well, this is what we're working on today. We've got a new injector. This was just dropped off here uh, midweek. This injector unit's got Dietrich injectors on it, and this was built by Ortel Supply. Um, it's very well put together. Um, it's got the faster hookup set up on here. Uh, we'll show you the James Way here in a minute that we had built. Um, couple years ago there we had that we had been using for a couple years and the hookups are kind of backwards on it and um, it kind of made for hooking and unhooking a lot harder so it uh, is going to be a lot easier hooking up to this you'll see in a little bit here we'll get bring the James Way spreader down and we'll get hooked up to it so we're just going to kind of walk around it here quick they built the toolbar itself they're using a husky distribution box to come over into the with that has the injector tubes hooked up to it and then that's going to drop the manure down um, into the ground here now the way these tips work they obviously knife a slot into the ground and then that sweep in the back right there is on a slight angle and being that it's on a slight angle it's kind of lifting the ground up just a little bit it's put a slice in it and then the manure is coming down into the slit that's in the ground and it's getting into the little bit of the opening that is left now we didn't get closers on the back of this uh, we've got an injector on our other spreader that doesn't have closers on it we can maybe add that in the future but at this point we just don't feel we need the closers on there it's got a uh, nice setup here with the hoses um, they're kind of dropping down into the tube they're not coming down over the top of the tube and we're gonna be able to make out pretty good with those we won't have to worry about stuff getting plugged in them because it's got a straight shot it doesn't have to be reduced down into a, a piece of pipe that's on the inside of these tubes here so in the event that we want to um, hit the spread plate we can just switch the hose off the distribution box there that's coming off the back of the spreader hook into our sp spread plate and then we can run the spread plate <coughs> right off the back of the injector if we get into a situation where we're in, where we are in real stony ground and we don't want to use the injector so we went with a six shank injector opposed to a eight shank that we had previously just to make things a little lighter on the back of the spreader we've got a six shank on the noon tanker and we feel that um, it is adequate size to uh be using that we haven't got to fold this up at all it's 15 feet wide and we can get up and down the road without any trouble and we're not hanging a lot of weight off the back of the spreader so we're going to come down here with the spreader get it hooked up like i was saying and um the hooks that we put on the parallel lift arms they're going to come up underneath here and then once you get it hooked up you put four bolts bolts in on each side so we're going to run over and look at the NutriJet injector before we bring the tanker down here and hook it up and then we can talk a little bit more about this once it's all hooked up and on the spreader and then next week here when we get using it in the field we'll have to do a little demonstration video on it in the field we're just making another pass around here I think they did a great job um, building this um, Actually, uh, Roger ended up going out to uh, Western New York here yesterday. He had to pick up some rubber for um, our alley scrapers, and he actually stopped in to pick up a connector to go on our spreader to go from uh, the spreader down. It's just a, a six-inch um, quick lock coupler to hook up that hose that goes the injector. So. Uh, Roger's got some video we're gonna jump over to that here momentarily and he's got some video of them guys at Ortel Supply working in the shop we buy a lot of stuff from Ortel Supply all of our manure handling equipment mainly comes from them the James Way pumps the Husky equipment we buy a lot of stuff from them and they've served us um, quite well through the years so we're going to get that spreader down here, and then at some point in time, we'll jump over to Roger's quick video that he took at Ortel Supply. All right, well, straight back. Straight back.
to the right just a little bit not much all right to the left a little He's got to go down. Back about eight inches. All right, whoa, a little farther. All right, whoa. All right, you got to come back and roll the way. Come back just a little more. No, 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 down. No, go down just a little. A little more. A little more. Oh, whoa. Hold up a second. I might be able to move it by hand. All right, lift up. All right, well, there it is. We'll get some bolts in here. We got to bolt it on right there. And we'll take it up to the shop and we'll get the... Uh, yeah, either cameras or you could literally probably set this on with tell hammer along. Yeah, no, no get the uh, hose hooked up to the back here. All right, camera's rolling. All right, hello. Today it's uh, Friday the uh, 3rd of uh, April. And uh, together, by the way, give a shout out to Horgan Family Farms. Hi, uh, Andy. Putting together an elbow for a, for a hose connection for a, a manure injector system. And what I'm going to do is take our Millermatic 250 and just, I got a, a pre tacked uh, elbow here. Going to put a hose carb and a fitting end to connect to the manure spreader. And uh, then they'll be able to hook up their hose and inject, inject the manure into the ground. Turn it on, make sure the gas is on. We'll just set that down there for right now. We'll work with the mask on. <laughs> set the tech. Let that cool, and there we have a six inch Italian ball connection fitting for uh, James Way Tanker for Horgan Family Farms. Have a good day. All right, this is the old injector that was hooked on the back of that James Way. This is an eight shank injector, and on this injector, whoever built this, they built it backwards, and when it came to hooking this up, we had to line up all four pins. And what this is supposed to be is like that injector that's on, uh, or like them hookups that we put on. The James way, there's supposed to be a bracket that hooks up underneath there, and I don't know what. I don't know what they've done. They lost the back of the bracket or something, but at any rate, that's on there wrong. Uh, this one is a fold-up version. 
So it's got the wings on it, um, two shanks on each side fold up for transporting down the road. For a little narrower transport, but the spreader and the tires and the tractor is still as wide as the one we've got on there now. Um, this one we had trouble with this 7 8 bolt right here. And what would happen uh, when that bolt would break off, there was no room inside here to knock that bolt out. If that bolt broke off in here, let me get the lighting there. All right, so this 7 8 bolt, this would break all the time. You run it up through the nut on the top, and whatever... Um, Whatever there was for the piece of the bolt in there, you usually had to spin the nut off with a wrench and try to hold this somehow, pull the shank out of the way and hold it with a pair of vice grips, or you'd just have to torch it. Then it would take a couple guys to get this line back up. So, I bought the noon injector, a couple of year, noon tanker and injector, a couple of years ago, and it had that injector on there with the Dietrich tips. Dietrich shanks that is and uh, it looked so much lighter and I thought we were gonna have trouble with it and We never had a lick of trouble with it. So we've had great luck with that injector on the noon tanker, so um, As you can see uh, By the looks of this thing. It's got a little more to it and it's a little heavier uh, in weight than the uh, injector we have but um, this is kind of spent and uh, I suppose it has served its purpose and I hope that the one that Ortel has got is gonna last us and it looks like it will so we're gonna see some spreading getting done here after we get the hose hooked up and everything to uh, the injector uh, that's on the James way now but this is this is what it is so let's go ahead and uh, finish our work on that hose hookup and then we'll spread some manure with that new injector today. Well, we've just got down here to the field. We went about 40 feet or so, stuffed it in the ground, pumped a little bit of manure and then he pulled it up out of the, out of the ground just so we can kind of get a look at it. And we're going to stuff it back in and let them spread some. We are not sure if we have our wheels adjust it to the right height so he's gonna try uh, this again and uh, we'll oh, see what we've got here they weren't treading too hard yeah all right let's try it again all right, I'm gonna back up. All right. so he's pumped a few gallons of manure through it not much Out of the ground just a little bit, not much.
think we're gonna bring them wheels up a notch. We're gonna try them wheels up one hole. So we are walking back through. This is the first pass he made. Now this is inside. And we're not quite buried completely. Um, but the, the ground is quite moist yet too. But this manure isn't going anywhere. This is actually pretty good. And a little bit on top of the ground we have... Uh, picked our wheels up some to bury that tip in there a little farther we're gonna see how that works he's gonna circle around come back down through here So we've adjusted them wheels up some so that we can have that injector go a little further in the ground. Them hoods weren't quite down in the ground enough. Run it a little deeper. Liking that a little better. The hood's right down in the ground. It adjusted right where we want it this pass here is his first pass he's got a little more manure sitting on top of the surface and then this pass here is his second pass now we're inside so we're not going to get uh, down in as far as we would if we were in corn stubble this is four years old uh, four year old sod here so you can see quite a difference And the injection here, I really like this here compared to his first pass. Now he's going to make a second pass here now, or a third pass, a second pass with it adjusted the way we want it. Lining up, getting this pass set.
Now again, the design of those sweeps, they are not quite running flat in the ground. And when they're going through, they're just lifting up the soil a little bit. And before that soil sets back down again, that manure is coming down through that slit that that shank is making. And it's dropping in that slight, slightly raised soil and the soil is dropping back down on top of it.
I'm gonna do it like this. 